Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the Sea Duck. The FTC Duck. Yeah, which is inspired by the plane of the same name, Sea Duck, from a show, a cartoon, that was a big part of my childhood, and also yours as well. It's impacted us all. Matter of fact, when we were young, seeing these planes fly around, and, and uh, oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. It was like they take the golden era of aviation, but the imagination of a child, and they smashed it up together. And characters from the Jungle Book. Which made it even better. Of course, we're talking about Tailspin. Oh we a tailspin! Oh we o tailspin! We didn't even rehearse that. That was really bad. No blood. We love that show so much. You know what though? We are not alone. A lot of other people in our community have also been inspired and have also taken the Sea Duck to completion in flying models. And we want to give them a huge shout out because this was a very complicated, intense build, and without their feedback, there's no way we would have had it. Matthew Chapman. Air Sea Pirate Ninzi, and even Slate. Oh, I get it. And even Slate. I get it. It's like a, it's like a pun. Yeah. RC Space Flight and Dan Knight. Thank you guys so much for your contributions. Yeah. And guys, we really want to showcase their talents. There's a 900 millimeter version of this that you can download the plans for free and build this as well too. So if you don't want to build a you know 50 plus inch version, you don't have to. We're gonna have all the links to all their articles down below. Cool. It's not every day we dedicate an episode to someone, but there is a dear gentleman that has been a major part of flight test. And if you guys have ever made a comment on YouTube, you know who he is. It's Baloo. Now we got to meet up Baloo in uh, Europe and uh, he's been instrumental in growing flight tests, helping people out. And Blue, this episode is dedicated to you, my friend. Now, something that a lot of people are gonna wanna know is how does this thing fly off the water? One way to find out, and a matter of fact, if you guys watch Facebook Live or Periscope, you already know. Oh, look at that, you see that coming at you. Yep, you're flying. Oh, that's good, everything's right. That's gonna be awesome. Woo, here we go. Straight at it. <laughs> that looks so cool coming at us. Now you guys went down to Lake Mohawk. We were finally blessed with the most amazing weather. That's cool. And luckily John's uncle has a pontoon boat. Oh sweet, so you flew it off the pontoon boat. We got to take it off the water from the pontoon boat, which yep. made life a lot easier getting out into the middle of a big lake rather than working off the docks. You know, it, it just, it honestly feels like the same speed and everything as the cartoon, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks bright. Oh, we yay. Oh, oh we oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> All right, Peter, your turn. All right, I gotta try this. Go, Peter. Go, Peter. The pontoons are good, so that's that's what I'm looking for in handling too. <laughs> Awesome. Dude, that was great. so sweet. The speed is just so fun. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Dude, it just hits the ground, nothing phases it. Yeah. Beast mode. That's what I'm looking for a good water plane design, too. Mainly handling like this. Like, how quickly you turn around is a big yeah. factor in it. It's right? Good design or not. Yeah, we don't <laughs> even. You doing that? You doing that? You did a great job painting this, Peter. Yeah, there you go. You did a good job of the design. It's amazing. Yeah. I think we have more hours in this design than probably any of the other designs I've ever done in our life. <laughs> it was a, dual, it was a dual, uh, dual effort. And it's not sinking. And even Stefan got to try it as well. Stefan got to try it out. And a big shout out and thank you to Peter. Um, we tried to keep this as original, so when people saw it, they would immediately know it was the tailspin plane. Right. Uh, I think it's called the Conwing L16, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, and we wanted people to see that, but there were a couple of features we had to change, mainly the wings and the proportion of the fuselage, but also the big part was the pontoons. Right. The wing pontoons on the uh, outer side, uh, we kept the shape originally, and Peter immediately saw that and said, you know what, you're gonna have an issue. It's gonna create a low pressure pocket. Had the same issue with my otter, and he was absolutely right. Steph and I took that out to a small little lake and tried to do a little bit of testing and it immediately sucked the pontoons underwater and you're fine as long as you're going straight but the second you turned the pontoon would drop into the water. Oh! Oh! We re-engineered it, kind of kept as much of the original feel as possible and it flew fantastic. Right, so, yeah. Inverted tail touch in the water. Come on Stefan. I know you got it in you. I believe in you Stefan. <laughs> Alright we're gonna come in for the landing. Alright I believe in you. Let's see it. Thanks guys. I'm gonna butter it up. You're gonna do great. Try, let's see how well it floats upside down. Can you, can you do an inverted landing for me? There's so much drag on the thing, you're, you're gonna be fine. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I think the pontoon's gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was side load though. Oh, oh, I apologize. All right, I want to play now. Let's see if I can make the, the pontoon wiggle waggle. Oh. You know, I think I think when we do the build video, we'll yep. put some bracing in there. I think in the actual cartoon too, it had it had it had a little bit of bracing in it. Oh yeah, yeah. So we got to keep that one. Yeah, one bracing out of the water. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. That's okay. I love you, brother. Hey, you know what? We got to test it out. We still have time to before the kit comes out to put the bracing in. Yep. All right, you know, let's let's flat spin. That's what I had to do in my plane too. I, I think I it's gonna come off. Braces later. Oh, we'll see. Ready? Flat spin. <laughs> Tail spin. It really feels like a kite. It, it does. Like, a kite. like you just kind of you pull throttle. Like, look at look at this pontoon. It's just woo. it's a floppy pontoon. Floppy flippy floppy. Wicky wicky. You couldn't wicky. ask for a more beautiful day than this. Oh, it's just phenomenal. just a little light wind. It feels like, honestly, like you are flying a cartoon. We actually have the markings for an optional rudder on yes. the plane, but you don't really need it. No, there's only three servos in the whole entire airplane. Right, and it yaws off of differential thrust. Yep. And what differential thrust is, basically, tell me if I'm wrong, but that's when one of one of the propellers will either speed up or slow down to kind of get it to, to, to give yaw. you a affirmative yaw. And no matter what the wind is doing, you don't have to worry about a keel in the water and things like that. You actually have the power to pull you around, which makes taxiing and flying off the water really easy. Uninverted. Tail touch, come on, tail touch. No, tail you touch, kidding? Touch, I, I have this thing so nose heavy right now. That looks so People cool. You want to know, Josh, if it flies at all like a guinea. It flies a lot like a guinea. It flies very, very simple. Yeah. If you go on the guinea, you can easily fly this thing, no props. Like a water guinea. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Sea duck hug! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a hover. <laughs> it just it just sits there. I'm gonna try, 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 try it now. It's way too cool. I, don't know. I think it hovers. It may hover better than the guinea pig. I think it's because it's blowing back. It's counter rotating, blowing back over the spins. We're still flying on a 2200, by the way. That that pontoon does. It just it just flippy flappies there. There you go. Oh, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> oh man! Oh my goodness, guys! Living dangerously. Yeah. Come over here. Okay, so cool. <laughs> oh, there goes the hatch. I'm not gonna touch it too, too much. I don't want to wreck it. I like its little Nemo fin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Josh. Nemo fin. Back to you. All right. I just pop it, pop it in the water, and then we'll. Uh, oh, nice landing. It touches down so nice. Yeah. The only thing to make this episode better would be a blue is here. All right. Whoa. Tuck it out. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Hey, okay, we should fire up the motor and chase after this thing. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah, that's so cool. 
That is so cool. <laughs> so it sounds like you guys had a pretty good day. Oh, it was a great day. It was a great day. We got to pass the transmitters around mm -hmm. to everyone on the boat, and Peter made the most amazing, epic, low inverted pass right as the battery died. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness! Man. That's so scary. Oh, oh, die, Peter! I think the battery actually is dead, though. <laughs> now, unfortunately, uh, Tailspin, the cartoon, is pretty rare now. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find on, on DVD. Is it even I think, available? I think it's available on Amazon. Matter of fact, I still have the DVD set my wife got me for Valentine's nice. Day. Nice. Thank you, Jennifer. And uh, it's, it's, it's inspirational. And if you guys saw in the beginning here, we actually didn't make a flying wing. To make a flying wing that small and proportional and still carry GoPro, it was way too unstable. You ready? Kit Cloud Kicker was the kid yeah. from the cartoon, and he had that little that little flying wing kind that of like hovercraft thing that big. he would, yeah that he would ride on, and then the plane would tow him. Yeah, and it's totally possible if the plane was going about 800 miles an hour. Oh, okay. You know, but it's it's not possible in real life. We really want an experience where friends and family could go out and have a great time making memories yeah. with something that's approachable and easy. <laughs> we took the FT Explorer with a little tow release module on it, and I actually let my kids give me tows for a change because normally I just tow them up. Yeah. All right, Mikey, so what are we gonna do today? Tow plane. Tow plane? So you actually had your boys, Noah and Michael, as the uh, pilots of the Sea Duck, and yes. then you were being towed behind. Yeah, I absolutely love soaring, but usually I'm always the tow pilot, yeah. and I wanted them to take on that challenge. So here's the key to success. <laughs> Don't do anything too crazy. Just climb out nice and soft, okay? You guys ever wonder how to tow a plane up? One thing you don't want to do is be really crazy on the throttle. Keep everything smooth, keep everything relaxed, and also make sure that you're pulling from a point where it's not going to catch your rudder. Uh, preferably the very top CG point is the best. Know how to tow up your plane, or your plane's going to get towed up. So just go ahead and take her off. Uh, give it a three-quarter throttle, full throttle, get her up in the air. And... There you go. Perfect! There you go. Let's see how high we can make it go. <laughs> Good work! There you go. You see how I'm, I'm not stalling and I'm not changing you really much? But mm -hmm. very good. Alright, so in three, one, and I'm released. We are. They did fantastic though. I got to get a lot of epic rides. The uh, FT Explorer did fantastic. And no matter what you're towing up, as long as it's a simple flying glider, you can do have a great amount of fun with it. With this plane, it's, it's not only meant to emulate a cartoon plane, but right. it's also meant to be really functional. That's and cool. uh, Peter's guinea pig that he designed was amazing with the functionality and all the things you could do with it. We wanted this to be the same thing too. <laughs> it just, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. Josh, one thing I feel really bad about is everyone has gotten a chance to fly this plane but you. Everyone in the world. And this actually is rare because normally our prototypes don't make it to the end of the show. Right. You get to fly the original, still okay. flies fantastic. Don't hurt it because Michael loves this one. Don't put any pressure on me. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Okay. Now the Sea Duck is by far the most intense build, but it doesn't mean it's difficult or it's hard to fly either. It just puts a little bit more pressure on me though. No, you got A folds, B folds, C folds, just a lot more of them. Okay. And dude, you're gonna do great. All so right. we're gonna launch Josh here. I like how you made sure you didn't hit Dave in the head. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm trying this new thing <laughs> where I don't hit our cameraman. It's always a courteous thing. Man, it's so smooth. It's funny, you would think twin engines make things more complicated, uh -huh. but I think it makes the flight envelope even easier. Now you're flying three cell right now, you can actually prop us down to a 945 and go crazy with a four cell, and that's actually what you saw on the uh, water portions of the uh, flying, and also when we did the uh, glider toast. And it looks just like the Sea Duck. <laughs> you know, from the air, there's a lot of things we had to change on the Sea Duck. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, pontoons were one of them. And Peter pointed out that it creates a low pressure pocket and actually sucks the pontoons into the water. Okay. So that's been changed a little bit. But also the proportions of the wing, the rudder, the stabilizer, and the fuselage, they're all actually changed just a little bit to make it look normal. If you brought this and projected it out and made it true, 
it would look really, really funny. Really skinny, thin wings, uh, really awkward looking pontoons. Um, but in the cartoon, it looked fantastic. Now, were the changes that you had to make because of the scale of, of our design, or was that just because of inaccuracies of the cartoon? It was looks, and it was also characteristics, too. If gotcha. we built at the scale, it would have been very short coupled with very thin wings. You wouldn't have gotten the lift you wanted, Yeah. and uh, it would have caused you issues. We really wanted this to be easy to fly. That tower is evil, isn't it? Woo! Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Tailspin! Oh, yeah. Oh. What is up with that song? It, it's it, so it sticks catchy. in your head. It's We've been so singing catchy. it for months now. I've been singing it for the past like 25 years. Do you remember Tailspin as a kid? I do. I used to watch it on the Disney afternoon. The Disney afternoon with uh, Darkwing Duck and uh, Goof Troop. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Yeah. Yeah. We're also blessed with other amazing people like Dan Sponholes. Uh, with all of our designs, we give out free plans, and that's really important to us. We want to make sure you can get into the hobby on your own terms. Uh, and Dan has done a really good job taking all of our plans to the next level with legends and keys that you can use, even if you have a black and white printer, mm -hmm. to be able to build the planes and almost just look at the plans and be able to build it based on those legends and keys. He's an amazing individual. That's awesome. Thanks, Dan. And Dan also heads up a secret team of beta builders. Shh. Yeah, don't tell anybody about this, but it's about eight to ten guys. And what they do is they take Dan's plans and they build the planes, they fly them, they give us feedback on the characteristics, what oh, was cool. difficult, uh, fit issues, things like that. And it's really taken us up. I think they've done about five planes for us now. And it's so hard. I want to name you guys by names, but we also want to keep it secret. So you guys know who you are. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. They're for a very what... secret organization. Well, they've taken the whole designs up a whole notch because their feedback is amazing. First uh, rule about beta builders is that you don't talk about beta builders. That's right. You don't that's do why it. Josh isn't in the club. No, no, because I talk a lot. You want to put it in for landing? Yeah, sure. It really is like a twin engine trainer, isn't it? Yeah. If you guys have ever flown the guinea pig, this is pretty much identical to the guinea pig. There you go. Nice. Doesn't take much throttle, does it? Uh-uh. Nice, man. All right. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> yeah, it's real stable. Uh, it's really forgiving design. I loved it. Awesome. Yeah, and if you're wondering if this is a, if it's a good plane for you, especially if you're just starting out, uh, a friend of ours, uh, Richard Kennedy yes. and uh, Jeff Anvik actually designed uh, the uh, Sea Duck uh, for Phoenix and Real Flight simulators. So you can actually try them out, and they have all the same characteristics and everything. Both uh, Jeff and Richard have done an amazing job. They've actually gone through almost our entire line now for Phoenix, and they're working on Real flight as we speak and they're doing the skins the, the designs and as we work forward our hope is to have a one-to-one -one ratio so you guys can fly it on the simulator before you decide to build it before you you don't fly it that's really cool and we want you to have success in the hobby yeah, that's really sure. there's enough intimidating things in life right yeah right so the ftc duck kit is now available in the store along with our twin packs but we're also going to be throwing in the decal kits it doesn't sound like much but when you put the window stickers on it looks so cool so we're going to include that in the kit and for the first 300 we're going to put the elements battery tray nice. included in the kit as well too now if you guys have something that you feel like would contribute to the RC community, whether it's an idea or a design, please share it with us. Go to flighttest.com and share it on the forum or find us on Facebook. We want to hear about it. Make an epic YouTube video. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next see time. See you next time.